I grew up in Sudan, so I spent most of my childhood years and later years next to the River Nile. I had it on the back of my head, I always wanted to swim it, but I was never able to due to lots of restrictions, social and cultural and uh, religious restrictions, particularly when it comes to women's freedoms. So I moved to the UK nine years ago, and then I was faced by different sets of challenges. And so challenges settling down and getting work permits and finding a job and lots of other things that migrant and refugee communities are usually faced by. So after spending a few years and just settling down, I felt that I want to wanna go diving my next holiday. And I wasn't swimming at, the, at that time, so I needed to swim. And I decided just to go the day after and register at my local pool. A lot of people feel very conscious taking up swimming as adults. Um, it, I don't know, it could be for lots of reasons. Maybe you feel you're too busy, you don't have the time, or it's not for you because you don't look like the people who swim, or you cannot access um, sites because they're a bit um, expensive or for whatever reason. But I think a lot of this is perceived and real. And um, once you start getting into it, you will really, you will really feel that it's, it's not the case. Just go and do it. We are, we are adults, we're not gonna get any less busier and um, this, is, this is actually the time to go and do it. I think the most important thing is that there's no magic in this. It's really just skills. Set of skills, you learn them. Set of techniques, you learn them, and you're good to go. So there's, there's really no magic. You put in the training, you put in the time and effort, and you'll get whatever you want to get. In my head, since I was a kid, swimming for me was open water. Maybe because I, I grew up um, next to the Nile, or I was just such an outdoor kid um, so it's always been if I'm gonna swim I'm gonna swim in a river or I'm gonna swim in a sea and I am looking so much forward to doing my open water my 10k open water now so I'm swimming for an amazing charity um, it's called bloody good period and it's a charity that uh, provides um, menstrual products to low-income families and young girls and asylum seekers and refugees um, it's an amazing charity because it, it addresses the inequality in young girls not being able to access certain services. They provide also sustainable products and they provide long-term education. So if you haven't heard of them, please look them up and support them because they're bloody amazing.